Yellow tinted water streaming out of local taps. That's a concern for some people living in Round Rock. They say their water has not been as clear over the past few weeks. So KXAN's Kevin Bosker got to the bottom of this, finding out what's causing this discoloration and if the water is still safe. Would you want to take a bath in this? This is what Trey Osier's family has dealt with in the past few weeks. Yellowish water. My wife is even saying like the, when it was at its worst, like even putting her hand in it, like it was, you could almost not see her hand. It was so thick and gross. Lucky for Osier, the water did clear up a bit when I came to visit on Friday, but Osier says that's happened before and the water color has returned to yellow soon after. Now it's just got kind of a yellowish tint. So it looks like it's improving, but, uh, but it's still certainly not perfectly clear. So what is causing the water to this yellowish green color? It's due to the manganese in the lake water. Michael Thane is Round Rock's executive director of public works. He says that due to the significant flooding in July, a lot of the runoff contains such elements that contribute to the water not being as clear. Round Rock sources water from Lake Georgetown, which had a significant amount of runoff from the floods. It is safe to drink. Uh, we're meeting all the standards, but the aesthetics have, a, have that yellow tin appearance. Manganese is a tough metal to treat. It makes our coagulant less effective. Evan Larson is the superintendent of the water treatment plant in Round Rock, and he points the finger directly at the metal. Manganese. He says that once the water is done being treated at the plant, it is in fact clear. The discoloration happens after it leaves the plant. When that manganese comes in contact with those iron pipes, that, that manganese is essentially allowed to precipitate out and leach out kind of a greenish color. And to get rid of that color, Larson says he needs people to report when they see that funny looking water coming out of the pipes and faucets so they can track it. It takes a little time and feedback and the, the public working together with us to kind of tell us where these issues are. Kevin Bosker, KXAN News. And this story started as a tip from a viewer. If there's something you'd like us to look into, we have our reported feature. You can scan that QR code that you see on your screen right now, or you can head over to KXAN.com to find more information on how to send us a tip.